All right, I'm going to show you how to make a pico de gallo. A pico de gallo we're going to use. Uh, we're going to make some tacos out of some of this good meat that we have left over. So jalapeno is it kind of been around a little while, but it's still good. They're a little wilted, but I use the seeds and all. So a lot of people get rid of the seeds because the heat, but I like the heat. So if you squirmish, maybe go ahead and uh, take the seeds out of there. So the, basically the taco is just going to be the warm tortillas. We're going to put the meat in a, in a skillet and kind of get it a little crispy. Kind of fine. Kind of fine on the onion. Got cousin Dave here today again, helping me with the the video work. And uh, Dave made his uh, him and his girl uh, nice uh, chicken lorange, lorange Dave, not a lorange, lorange, lorange. How'd it come out, Dave? Came out fantastic. And uh, so we're gonna make a recipe with that down the road, and and then uh, also we made a. Uh, we collaborated on it. He asked if I had a good bread pudding recipe, so we kind of came up with one. Dried cherries, what else? Uh, white chocolate. White chocolate, dark chocolate, special dark chocolate. Special dark chocolate. Uh, croissants, you made it with croissants? I actually got buttered croissants. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we made it a little richer with the whole, with the actually heavy cream. Heavy cream. Heavy baby. That's the way to go, huh? Yeah. And Forget now, milk or... One, half and half. One tablespoon of uh, one tablespoon of uh, vanilla extract. That really comes through in the flavor. What? Well, yeah, but yeah, it actually did. But I mean, the white chocolate has a lot of vanilla in it yeah. to start. And uh, yeah, no, it was just it wasn't was, overpowering. Oh, it was fantastic. It'd blow your mind. Didn't need any ice cream or anything. Huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so. So, uh, onions, jalapenos, got some nice cilantro, it's all cleaned up. I'm going to use the stem and everything. Nice knife work there, brother. Thank you. Kind of want it kind of on the finer side. I love cilantro. Some people don't like it, they're funny. It's like liver, either you love it or hate it. Okay, I love the flavor of it. Mm. Okay, we use like a little more than half a lemon. It's a big lemon. I'll use the whole lemon. pepper so you got the dual heat you got the uh, jalapeno the heat from the jalapenos the heat from the black pepper I love this like uh, just a it's like a uh, I call it Mexican bruschetta you know if you made up some toast you know like uh, Hey, you know, you got some pieces that aren't perfectly cut up. I right, leave them in there. No big deal. Unless you're, uh, unless you're doing dinner for Martha Stewart. <laughs> and who'd want to do that? Well, you never know. Takes all kinds, Dave. <laughs> and uh, don't with her before. No, thank you. Nah, she's all right. Yeah. Dig, dig but uh, but anyway, this is a 
like a Mexican bruschetta. Some people put a little oil in there. I don't mess with it. See to clean the rim? We we'll give it one of those. See? Okay. Okay, so the, the meat's going to be real hot. Pull that off. So look at that delicious meat right there. See? That takes a long time to cook without losing. Sometimes you cook, make a stock or something, you lose, you lose all the flavor. But this takes so long to cook and soften up, it holds the flavor for a long time. Especially when you get down below here. So I just shred it. I'm going to put it in a hot skillet. I'm using kind of a, I'm using, yo finger, yes Dave, I do know what's running Dave, I don't have to be talking the whole time Dave, thank you though, pull some of that good meat off, that's it, we'll take the bones, put them back in the stock, Like I said, this whole, both pieces of veal breast cost me uh, less than $3. I think it was, one piece was like $1.40, another piece was like $1.60. And, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of butter, because there's not a lot of fat. It's uh, kind of melted off. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter in there. I'm going to season up a little bit. Salt, pepper. Okay, then I take the tortillas. Okay, Dave, you want to try one? Absolutely. 